हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द श्योर गेट सक्सेस दिस वीडियो इज टोटली अपॉन द जमटोटिक एनालिसिस इट प्लेज अ क्रूशल रोल इन गेट एंड इट कंटेन्स मार्क्स टू सो मेजरली वी हैव थ्री काइंड ऑफ नोटेशंस वन इज बिग ओ नोटेशन अनदर इज बिग ओमेगा नोटेशन एंड थर्ड वन इज बिग थीटा नोटेशन सो फॉर दिस नोटेशन फर्स्टली वी हैव टू टेक टू अजम्पन्स दैट इज लेट फंक्शन एफ एन एंड जी ऑफ एन बी टू पॉजिटिव फंक्शन दैट इज दो बोथ आर द पॉजिटिव वंस सो फर्स्ट कंडीशन फॉर बिग ओ नोटेशन इज द फंक्शन इज बिग ओ ऑफ जी एफ एन इफ एंड ओनली इफ द फंक्शन इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू सी ऑफ जी एन हेयर द सी इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट and there has to be two positive constant one is c and another is n0 so c has to be greater than equal to 0 sorry c has to be greater than 0 and n0 has to be greater than or equals to 1 so let us let us understand it with an example of the same In this example, function f n is given as n square plus n plus five, whereas g of n is given as n square. So we have to prove that f of n is big O of g of n. So let's do it. If we put the value of f n on the place of this and c n, then g of n, which is the condition of big O of n. So let put the value of n one by one. If we put the value of n, then there will be one plus n, which is also one. Then it will be seven plus. Here it is will be one. So here we have to take this to be seven, but it is not equal in all the cases. But if we take n to the value two, then it will be four plus two plus five, and it will be four. C into Four. So, add this. If we put the value of c is equal to three, then the function f of n will always be smaller than o of n square. Therefore, it is proved that function f of n is big O of function g of n. If it is not so, then it will be. not g of n that is not big o of g of n one more thing i would like to tell you that if in the particular question the c c has to be constant that is it does not has to be n or 1 by n or anything else it has to be constant so the second notation is omega notation in this the condition is function f of n will be the function will be omega of g of n if and only if function n is greater than or equal to c into g of n where n has to be greater than or equal to n0 there also there has to be two constant like c and And zero, which is also in the big O notation. So let us understand it with an example. Function n is given as n minus ten, and g n is given as n plus ten. So we have to prove that function of n is omega of g of n. Put the values in in the condition. So f of n is given as n minus ten, and g of n is given as n plus ten. Let's put the value. substitute the value of n by brute force so let's take 10 not equal 20 not so if we take 30 and if we take the value of c is 1 by 2 in that case this condition will be okay that is f of n will be big omega of g of n 
if you put the value that 30 30 minus 10 that is it will be 20 and if you put here 30 so 30 plus 10 it will be 40 so here it is 20 here it is 40 and if we put the c value is 1 by 2 then there is 40 by 2 that will be 20 also so this one is equal to this one therefore this condition is true and the third notation is theta notation to prove that theta notation there are two conditions that is we can say that it is a mixture of big o and omega that is function f f of n is theta of g of n if and only if function n is less than is equal to c1 into g of n it is the one condition and function n is greater than or equal to c2 of g of n it is the second condition and here will be three constant one is c1 another is c2 and third one is n0 so let's understand with an example here we have fn as n square plus n plus 10 and gn as n square so what we have to prove is function of n is theta of g of n so let let us take it with the first condition what is the first condition we are having we have the first condition as f of n is c1 into g of n so we just put it the value here function n which is given it is given as n square so if we put the value of n square is 1 let's take it 1 plus 1 plus 10 it will be 12 and 1 so for that we have to take the c1 value very high so similarly 2 for 2 and 2 for 3 but if we take it for 3 so n square will be 9 plus 3 plus 10 and here it will be 3 square so what is the value here 10 3 13 or 9 22 and 3 is a 9 so if we take the c1 value as 3 then what it will be 22 into 9 to 3 will be sorry 22 less than is equal to 27 so this condition is satisfied similarly what is the second condition here the second condition here is function of n is greater than or equal to c2 into g of n so similarly put the value here if we take n is equal to 1 here we take the n is equal to 3 take n is equal to 1 if we put it 1 then it will be 1 plus 1 plus 10 what it will be 12 and here it will be 1 that is c2 into 1 square so 12 is strictly greater than is equal to 1 square so here is all here also the condition satisfies therefore function of n is theta of g of n let's understand the graph big o in big of o the function of n what the definition says that the function of n is less than or equal to c into g of n similarly in big omega what the definition says that f of n has to be greater than c into g of n similarly the graph of theta 2 in theta the function f of n has to be less than or equal to c1 into g of n which is the one condition and this is the first condition what is the other condition that f1 has to be greater than into sorry has to be greater than c2 into g of n so it will be the second condition because there are two conditions so there are these two first and second there are some derived notations also that is from big o notation let us understand the tightest bound and non tightest bound upper bound lower bound what all it is so if you take in big o notation n square is big o of n cube true but here n cube is 
upper bound because here it is n square and cube is larger than it so it is upper bound n square is also upper bound it is non tightest upper bound because it is far above and it is also the non tightest upper bound but this one this one is the tightest upper bound because it is neither greater nor smaller it is just accurately equal it is the tightest upper bound and the big o notation contains the tight upper bound and non tight upper bound both are available but in the small o notation n square is big o of n cube n square is sorry small o these all are small o's it is non tightest upper bound because it is greater it is also non tightest upper bound but see this it is not non tightest upper bound and the small o notation small o notation contains only non tightest upper bound that is tightest upper bound are not allowed similarly in omega it deals with the lower bound omega deals with the lower bound omega of n it is non tightest lower bound because it is smaller similarly it is also non tightest lower bound. but this one this one is the tightest lower bound and omega deals with the lower bound doesn't matter it is tightest or non tightest it deals with the both tightest and non tightest but in the small omega it deals with the non tightest upper bound this is also non tightest lower bound sorry this is also non tightest lower bound but it is tightest lower bound so it is not allowed in small omega thanks for watching like subscribe share and comment till next video bye bye take care